note to self, never attempt a Tom Cruise run, ever. Hello everybody, this is I, Brian Suffy, and today I'll be reviewing one of my most anticipated films of the year, Edge of Tomorrow, directed by Doug Liman and starring Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt. In the near future, war records and aliens are coming down, and it ain't pretty. It ain't pretty, folks. Oh, it's not pretty at all. <laughs> and Tom Cruise plays a soldier who gets infected with this alien gene that basically makes him relive the day all over again, over again. When he dies, he goes back to the day before the battle begins, and he doesn't like it he doesn't like it folks and so he meets up with emily blunt who's also dealt with the same thing but she's done with it she already found a cure for it for herself she's fine now and basically she has to help tom cruise end the war and make the whole time loop stop i'm sorry i rambling about this because um let me explain this right now. I didn't go into this movie with very high expectations i went in with mild expectations because i wasn't saying that this movie looked bad but I didn't want to overhype myself. Because sometimes when you overhype yourself, you're disappointed. Was I disappointed with this movie? No. This movie was fan friggin tastic. I loved this movie. This movie was amazing. It surpassed my expectations and I couldn't be more pleased. I am so, so happy. This movie has been getting lots of praise and believe me, it deserves it. It really does. It has like a 90% on Rotten Tomatoes. That is, that is good right there, okay? I didn't expect the movie like this to get a 90%. Because, you know, this story has been done many times. You know, Groundhog Day, like I said. Source Code. This movie does it extremely well. It's one of the most original sci-fi movies I've seen in a very long time. And probably one of the most original sci-fi movies I've ever seen. Ever. And Doug Liman directs this film perfectly. The action is directed fantastically. There are so many shots, like wide shots and everything of cool stuff. It is amazing. This movie really, really was amazing. There are so many great things about it. And I gotta start off with a bunch of stuff, including the acting. Tom Cruise is the man, okay? Tom Cruise, you can't go wrong with Tom Cruise. I love Tom Cruise. I've grown up watching so many of his action movies. I love him in action movies. I love him in dramas. I love him in comedies. That guy is talented. He's 52 and he could still do stunts. I don't know how the hell he does it. There are people who are like 30 that came and do that stuff. And that's impressive. Tom Cruise knows that he wants to make the audience entertained and he does it well. Tom Cruise is seriously the man. He's awesome. Emily Blunt. Wow. First of all, Emily Blunt has never looked that hot in her life. Holy shit. She looked Wow, she was hot. She was really good in the movie. She did some for her own stunts, I believe. Her character is one of the best female characters in the sci-fi movie in a very long time. She's tough. She's gritty. She's awesome. Uh, I love the writing. Like I said, the direction was great. The visuals were outstanding. The aliens? The aliens looked creepy as shit. Oh my god. When they first appeared, I was like... <gasps> <laughs> the aliens looked very cool, and I would really be happy if this film got nominated for visual effects. I thought the movie was very, very fast-paced. It was clear-cut. It was edited perfectly. The music by Christopher Beck was really good. This movie really had no problems. It handled the time loop thing very well. I love movies like this. I love Groundhog Day. I love Source Code. This summer, honestly, has been really, really good so far. I mean, Spider-Man was decent. Neighbors was good, Godzilla was awesome, X-Men was fantastic, Million Ways to Dime List was alright, Maleficent was decent, this movie's great! Overall, this movie was a very, very fun time, the comedy was also great, I can't believe I forgot about the comedy. The comedy didn't detract anything from the film, it was just perfect. And Tom Cruise and Emily Blunt did work fantastic together, they worked incredible together, and I really hope they do another film together, because that would be great. Maybe they could do Mission Impossible 5 together. So overall, Edge of Tomorrow is a great movie. I don't have any negatives with the movie, but I can't give the film an A+, so I'm just going to give it an A. It's an excellent movie. Please, please go see this movie. If you love sci-fi, if you love Tom Cruise, Emily Blunt, Doug Liman, excuse me, Doug Liman, if you love a bunch of stuff, and if you're looking for a great time in the movies, please go see Edge of Tomorrow. So guys, tell me down below, what's your favorite Tom Cruise movie? Mine is probably Born on 4th of July, and my favorite action movie with Tom Cruise, 
Ghost Protocol all the way. Ghost Protocol all the freaking way. Thank you all for watching my review, and see you soon.